Swing cash, I call her swing cash. Swing cash, I call her swing cash. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to She's Got Time. I'm your host, Swing Cash. And like we do every week, thank you all for joining us on She's Got Time. This is episode 20. I'm excited, y'all. We're getting up there. We're getting it in. I'm enjoying this. Um, I don't know about you all, but I'm having a lot of fun. I love the interaction. I love hearing from you all. Make sure you hit us up on our social media platforms. So like we do every week from the top, we got to talk about the week that was. Well, y'all, they got me. They got me this past week like they get me every week. And for some reason, I always have a tough time when I go into two stores. It's Target and it's Whole Foods. Those two stores, every time I go in and I can have my list and my mindset ready to go, and as soon as I go into the store, I come out and have spent more than I expected to spend before I went in. Whew, this past week, obviously, with it being a holiday weekend and celebrating Easter and you know taking some time away with the family, you know that last minute shopping, sometimes you forget something and you have to run back out and get it. Well, I actually did my shopping early Earlier, I would say, uh, before the holiday weekend, they forget a couple things. Thanks to my husband for running out day of, actually, and being able to pick up a couple things up for me to be able to finish. But listen, there's two things I just figured out this last past week. Not only do I have to have a list when I go into the store, uh, especially those two stores, but I also, I can't take my son sometimes. Because you all know the ones that have kids that listen to She's Got Time, you go in and for some reason their eyes get so big. It's like that store is strategically set up for kids to either want something, have to take something, they're hungry, they need to open something right away. <sighs> I am getting to that age where I no longer have my son just pop him in, out of the car seat, put him in a stroller, go in, do what I need to do and come back out. No, it's that age where I need to get down, I need to run, I need everything in the store and I need you to buy it right now. So yeah, this past week, very, very interesting. I feel like I'm turning the corner in the wrong direction. <laughs> but uh, past all that, guys, I had a really, really nice time with my family. Uh, you know, usually during the holidays, people get up and they move around and I thought that was going to be us. This past weekend where it was Easter and we were going to go visit a lot of different people and you put on your Sunday best. And the reality was is that we just did church our way. We were able to, to do church and actually be able to spend some time with our family, our immediate family here in the house and not really focus on visiting a lot of people. And at first I was like, man, it's, it felt a little weird because usually tradition is, uh, especially in my family, is that you do that. Well, we've been traveling so much. And for those of you that have been following us, especially on She's Got Time and also um, even at Swing Cash, you know I've been on the go. My husband has been on the go. So this was a perfect week and to feel like we just kind of detoxed from the world and kind of took everything in and just really able to chill out. So this past week was a lot of fun, a lot of relaxation, a lot of hitting the reset button. And let's get back after it this week. All right, y'all. So this week's topic I want to give to y'all is called Save Up. Now, we've been talking about having those great ideas for business. We've been talking about what it is to be a mom or dad, a parent. We've been talking about a number of things on She's Got Time. And one of the things I thought about was we're, we're talking about how you execute plans. We're talking about encouraging you to start your own business, to get into the political um, sphere, to to make sure that your voice and you're using your platform, whether it's on social media, uh, in your family. But we also got to talk about the real. We got to talk about that part that people don't like to talk about. And that's the financial aspe aspect of getting into not only business, but creating opportunities for vacations for your family, creating more financial security. And this isn't going to be a podcast where I'm diving into what are the financials you need to do, the stock market, this, that, the other. No, I want to talk about some day-to-day -day type of things that you can do in order to save up to be able to accomplish the goals that you have. Now, we all are at different levels as far as maybe the goals that I have is to save up for vacation this year. Maybe I have a goal where I need to save up more money because I want to put it towards my business. Everybody has their own thing that they need to do. So I was thinking about it and I said, you know what? Let's think of some things that right now, attainable things that we can do 
and not have to worry about that huge big number and say financially, I have to do this, I have to move money here, stock market, savings, whatever. Now, nah, let's get to the real, all right? So let's jump right into it. One of the things off the top that I personally have struggled with at times, but I'm committed to making sure I do it, especially on my phone. Now, back in the day, you know, mom and dad and everybody used to write the list down. They give it to you to go to the store. I don't know about y'all, but my nana used to do it to me all the time. Here's my list. Go to the store. Here's some money. And when you come back, I may give you a little treat or something. <laughs> or with my nana, she'd be like, you know, here's a nice home cooked meal. Sit down. Let's talk or whatever. But for me, preparing a list is so important. And it's easy to do that. You know what you can do? You can prepare a list on your phone. Make sure that you're making that list. You can do it in your phone, like I said. It's easy, I put mine in my notes, and that way when I go in, I know exactly what I'm buying and I get out. You gotta have focus, you gotta kinda have that tunnel vision. Go in, buy what you need, get out. If you linger, if you go down the wrong aisles, you're gonna put something else in your cart. That is not a great way to save it. That is my problem, especially when I have my son with me because he then sees everything that's colorful and let's throw it into the shopping cart and expect mommy or daddy to buy it. That's when you're not saving, you're actually spending more than you thought about before you went into the store. Next thing, you wanna do an automatic withdrawal. So for those of us that get direct deposit from our employer or whatever the case may be, when it comes in, make sure you know exactly every check what you're putting into your savings. So it can just swing over to your savings and you won't spend it because you won't even see that it's not there. That's another way to help you with savings. All right, and we talked about this before, not only the list, but here's a better way to do it. Get a list and then figure out if there's coupons. All right, how do you get coupons? It's easy, we get them in the mail all the time. You know how often we get stuff in the mail, we just automatically throw away, we don't even think about looking at it. Um, that's, what, that's what these companies do. They send you a lot of coupons in the mail because they want you to come into the store. But the people who are smart enough to say, ah, you know what, I'm gonna take this coupon and this coupon, this is what I need, I'll put it in my bag. So when I do pull out that list, I do go shopping. I'm not gonna entertain all the other things in the store that you want me to buy. I'm coming there to execute a plan. Focus, people, focus. We're saving, that means we have to focus, all right? The next thing I wanna talk to you about too is Less TV, less time on your phone, social media. Check this out. This is what I want you to do. I want you to Google something on your phone. I want you to actually maybe talk about something that you're thinking about, maybe a site that you've gone to. And I guarantee you within a day or two when you go back to your social media and you will see whatever you Googled or you may have had interest in that popped up or you were talking about, I'm telling you, it's going to show up in your stream. That is what they do. It's a part of marketing. I, I, one time I'm going to have my husband on here. We're going to talk about the branding and marketing aspect of what these companies do, their research. They're directly targeting you. I'm telling you, it will pop up and it's trying to lure you in. So the way that you can combat that is to not constantly be on there. Even now, even on, on the iPhones, they tell you how much time you spend from emails to social uh, media networks. And you would be surprised. If you're not surprised, that means you almost have a problem, people. I'm just saying, not judging, but just saying. Um, so yes, yeah, so you wanna cut down your TV time, social media time, all those things because you want to have focus. Read a book, do something else that's different. Listen to She's Got Time podcast. Small plug there. Um, but those are the things that you can do to make sure that you aren't being enticed to go out and buy things that you don't need, right? We're trying to save up, whether it's for that vacation, for a new business, whatever the case may be. Let's cut back. Let's do some things that we can do, some tangible things that aren't, uh, you know, big investments or I got to take, move this amount over here, 20000 here, that. No, we're talking about small day-to-day -day stuff that you can do to just help yourself save up. For this business we've been talking about, this idea we've been talking about, this vacation we've been talking about, these are the things that you can do to help you. And I'm not just telling you this stuff. Like these are things that I've either done or I've tried. All right. So another thing, um, you also can go out. I I shop when I go out and shop sometimes, especially as a female, as a woman, we know we can go out, we can buy clothes and shoes and things like that. My mom gets on me all the time. I've said this to y'all before on She's Got Time. She jokes with me because I shop at places that I know the return policy. You need to know the return policy. I need to know if I have 30 days, 60 days, 90 days to return this. And what I'm going to say to you is if you buy something and you don't wear it, you don't have it over past 30 days to 60 days. You need to return it because that was an impulse buy. 
And I have done it in the past. And that's one of my kind of things that I need to work on as well, where I will go out whenever I'm kind of in an emotional space or I'm thinking that's something I enjoy doing. I enjoy going shopping. But I realize keeping the tags on stuff, stuff that I don't need, I'm able to return it and still get my money back. Be smart. Know the return policies for these places you like to shop at. Now, you see, I didn't say don't shop. I just said shop smarter. Yes, that's what we need to do. All right. And another thing, we have to watch going out, right? A lot of times we go out, we pick up fast food, we eat here, we eat there. Prepping for the week, prepping for the week, especially if you're a parent, that is one of the things that can really help you out. If you prep for the week, you know exactly what you're going to cook. You know if it's going to be one day, what's two days, whatever the case may be. Prep your meals for the week. It helps you out. It also makes you feel better because you're not putting a lot of junk into your system. And also invite friends over. Having more friends over and gatherings means you're not going out as much. So whether it's one or two people, you don't have to have a bunch of people in your house, but staying home is always a great option. That means you're saving up that money for what? For our vacations, for our new business, whatever you want to put it towards, you're going to save. Trust me, believe in yourself. You can do these small things right here. Trust it. Give it 30 days. Check it out. See if it works, if it happens for you. And last but not least, do not spend because you are stressed. A lot of times people get stressed and they go emotionally buy things to make them feel better in the moment. Instead of going to buy or spend, try to talk to somebody. Let those things out. Try to meditate. Try to, if it's whatever religion that you are, if it's prayer that helps, whatever the case may be, get centered, get focused on yourself and focus back on what your goals are. Because trust me, a lot of times that stress you have, whether it's from work, whether it's from family, whether it's from finances, that stress is there for a day. But if you can get through the rain and the storm and get to that other side, then you can start preparing of how can I build myself back up? How can I save up so I can hit my goals? All right. So let's work on this for the next 30 days. Let's see how much we can save to put towards our goal, our business, our travel, our family, whatever the case may be. These tangible things right here. Yeah, you can make it happen. All right. And y'all know before we get out of here, we have to do our take a seat, take a bow, level up and straighten your crown. This week's take a seat for me has to be to all of the parents who act like you don't see it, think it makes your kid tough because they're bigger or stronger, but pretty much enable and condone bullying. Uh, right now we have a high rate of young kids that are taking their life because of being bullied in schools being bullied on playgrounds, and being bullied on social media. And as a parent, as somebody that's a guardian, as somebody that has any influence that are raising children, it is a responsibility for you to know what is happening with your child and what your child is doing. It is asinine to me to think that somebody could have their child be on social media or have their child be doing things at school and that you are not in their business. I, when, when was it okay for kids to have closed doors? And when was it okay for kids that I need my space? Like the world may be changing, but how you are rearing kids and how you are making sure they are held accountable and understand the uh, consequences to their action, that directly evolve, revolves around you making sure that you're present. Now, listen, I had a mom that worked multiple jobs. I had a stepdad that worked multiple jobs. I had a dad that wasn't there majority of the time because he was out fighting in another war that our country was in. But the reality was that it does take a village. But as parents, you have to make sure you take some time to know what's going on. There are too many kids that are vulnerable, that are being bullied. There are too many kids that we're seeing lose their lives, young kids, a young 15-year-old kid from Alabama took his life because he was tired of being bullied. We have to start being accountable. And so every parent that's listening and on She's Got Time, it's your responsibility to make sure that you're present and make sure what's going on and get in your kid's business. Don't Until a kid is off in college and paying their own bills, It is their business is your business. I'm saying it right now. And also in our group chats and your friends chats, you're talking to your friends, make sure you're encouraging your friends also to be in their kids' business. We don't want to keep losing our kids in their lives. We can't. We have to have a certain level of accountability and it starts with us as parents and as adults. 
Next, or take a bow. Take a bow this week has to go to the WNBA. As you all seen, for those of you that follow me throughout my career and now that may be watching the ladies as they go through this whole CBA negotiation, they just announced a WNBA partnership with CBS Sports. And I thought it was an awesome thing because to me, more exposure for the WNBA is a plus. So to the ladies, keep your head up, keep fighting, and keep getting more opportunity because you deserve this exposure, deserve to be on television. I'm happy to see CBS Sports stepped up to the plate and is now involved with the WNBA. Lastly, our level up and straighten your crown is going to go to Miss Soledad O'Brien. Um, and this ties directly back to my positive note. Uh, I have been a huge fan of Miss Celadette O'Brien for a number of years, um, even back when she was on CNN. But now to see kind of what she's evolved to and having an outspoken voice on social media, um, it has been very refreshing to see an African-American woman be that unapologetic about her stance and her beliefs that we must use our voice. This past week, um, I saw a tweet from Soledad that was really, really awesome. And I want to tie our level up to our positive note as well, because this tweet that she sent out, it was so positive and it really inspired me. And I've been a huge fan of her for many a years, even in, from back in the day when she was on CNN. To see how unapologetic she is about using her platform, making sure she's speaking out and holding people, especially in political office, accountable for the things they say and do, the media accountable for the things they say and do, it's really refreshing. And so here was her quote, and she was talking about um, since you know her mom and dad had passed, it, it reminded her of this, be bold, accomplish the shit you set out to accomplish, fear no man. And if you have a platform and you're in a position to speak up, do it. You'll have some occasional bruises, but you won't die a coward. To me, that says it all. No, you won't die a coward. Yes, there'll be people who won't like what you say or what you do. But at the end of the day, if you stand firmly on your beliefs, your faith, your family, that's all you can really ask for. So thank you, Soledad, for that positive note. I hope it was as inspiring to all of you on She's Got Time as it was to me. Remember, save up. Let's try to work hard this next 30 days, y'all. And we'll see you next time right here on She's Got Time. Swing cash. I call her swing cash. Swing cash. I call her swing cash.